Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my guide for that race on classic difficulty in Mafia Definitive Edition. So the footage you can see here at the start is on classic difficulty and I'm just going to show you that it is possible to get into first place before the end of the first lap. Obviously it's not going to be possible to do this all the time. This race is a lot of luck and um, mainly treating the car like an old car. You need to drive the car like an old car. I'm going to show you my full winning race in a moment um, but yes this is chapter 5 fair play the race on classic difficulty this is a lot of people been having trouble with this so I just thought I'd show you so you're gonna see here I'm gonna come up and we're gonna get first place there are two set pieces and one thing you need to be uh, be wary of um, during the race and we're gonna go through those now so there yeah, I'm in first place uh, halfway through the first lap so it is possible so to start off with, we're going to just go in a straight line and keep tapping X. Now don't move the left stick at all if you ever tap X. It's basically the shunt button, the sort of charge. So you can see me kind of dash forward a little bit. This is not necessary, but uh, it just helps a little bit. And stay to the right hand side here because you might see the cars clump up there. So the next thing is, this is probably the most difficult corner. Um, treat the car like an old car. They don't have anti-lock brakes. So dab the brakes. Don't lock on with the, the brake. Dab the brake as you're coming towards a corner. Um, and if you can, get it to slide. But don't overcompensate. You see me making lots of little adjustments with the, the front wheels there. Don't keep full lock on. It's not going to work. This corner is your, your best chance for winning the race. And you're going to see that in a minute. So here's the first set piece. That car will always crash there. Be sure not to hit that. Uh, another difficult corner until you master it is this one. Break a little bit at the top here. Break and then get ready to slide. And you're going to be able to slide it. I had to brake a bit harder because I didn't want to touch the back end of this car. That is another thing. Touching the cars is a, the best way to spin out. So if you have to, just brake a little bit harder. Uh, that S-bend again is heavy brake and then cut in. So we're going to be trying to use at least. I'm, de I'm definitely not the best person at racing games. But apexes and racing lines, that's that's your best bet. Uh, so obviously that is stay wide before the corner and then cut in uh, across the, the corner, uh, the apex, the, the, the straight bit, <laughs> the straightest line as it were, uh, through a corner. That big corner before there that we just went through, again, minor adjustments. Don't put full lock on your left stick, you'll spin out. Little adjustments all the time. I'm tapping X here again. But I'm all making sure I stop before I get to the finish line and I need to turn. So again, it's dabbing brakes and you still might spin out there. Just managed to rescue it. But it's dabbing brakes. Let off and then dab brakes. Don't lock on. That's the worst thing you can do. And then cut this corner. This is a full speed corner. You can just get it here. And then this is the best corner for taking places. You can get your you can practically go on the grass and just get your last your your left two wheels sort of on the rumble strip. And you'll be fine and you can this is where I'm gonna win the race essentially um, so again this is a full speed corner so keep full speed at the top of this hill just before you crest it brake a little bit and then get ready to slide there's no car in front of me so I'm gonna be able to do it properly this time so get the corner nice and tucked in there and then come down here and there's gonna be another crash first place will always crash here so um, be ready to not hit them if you're lucky second or third place depending where you are uh, where you are Will hit him, didn't for me, but it can happen. This is also a nasty corner as well, uh, but it is one that you can uh, sort of slide around. So yeah, I did say about racing lines and apexes, and yeah, I completely missed up, missed them at that point. Like I said, this is not perfect. I'm not amazing at racing games, and I can do this. I did it, um, so you can too. So we're going to go for a perfect lap here now, coming up to take first place. So it is possible at this point of the second lap, end of the second lap, to take first, even if he's that far ahead. Um, the the main thing with this um, this race is the first lap, the first few corners. If you can get into uh, fourth or fifth position by the time the first car crashes, then uh, you're good. If not, I'd probably restart. Um, it's quicker just to restart than try and struggle through the rest of the race. So again here, this is the corner where I'm going to pretty much take him. Here we go. So they slow down quite a lot. So you can see how much um, I, took, I managed to gain on him. And then we're going to use this top corner to um, 
actually do the overtake. Again, I'm going to slide around it and just go on the inside. It's a close one, but we got there. Um, and then, yeah, don't bottle it. That's another thing. Is just drive like you have been. Don't feel like you need to rush it. Nice and slow on this corner. Try not to spin out. That was close. Another bit you need to watch out for is that crash is going to be recovered. Um, and that truck will be in the way. So watch out for that. Uh, I do apologise for the, the little... Um, like tears in the, the recording. I watched this playback and I was disgusted by it and I've, <laughs> I've ordered a new capture card so they will be gone in the future. Uh, again, little adjustments around this corner and then keep an eye on your the guy behind you. You can see him, the white dot on the mini-map. Um, if you need to, just move in front of him and uh, there you go. So there we go, that's the race done, finished. Right, thanks very much for watching. Good luck and I'll see you on the next one.